how to add custom message handlers to the pipeline in web api some web services require the clients to include an api key in their requests i will take that as a requirement in this example and i will show you how we can create a custom message handler to check the request for a valid api key and then later i will show you how we can add that custom message handler to the pipeline in web api to create a custom message handler we need to create first a class and based on our requirement i have created api key handler class at the moment if you see that that class contains key and a method which will validate that key based on key which we will get from the request after creating a class we need to drive that class from delegating handler class and we need to override a method available in delegating handler class method named send async and if you see the implementation or definition of that method uh, which is quite straight forward what we are doing we are getting that request and passing to our own validate key method that methods validate uh, key and if that validation uh, passed then if you see that we skip everything and we call base dot send async method this base dot send async method will just normally call next available message handler in the pipeline but what if that validation fails in that case if you see that we are creating http response message with forbidden status and we are returning that response from this method so basically in that case we are breaking that chain and instead of calling next message handlers available in pipeline we are resp returning response from this method so now we have created a custom message handler to add that custom message handler to the pipeline we can call configurations message handlers collections add method in this way and pass that newly created custom message handler to that method we can do that in registration method in web api class so this is a method to create custom message handler and to add it to the pipeline so we can use same steps to create another message handler and we can add in same way but just remember the message handlers are going to call in the same order as they appear in the message handler collection so if we have added another custom message handler here this will be called this will be called first and that next one will be called after this and this order uh, i'm talking about is from request point of view from response point of view the later one will be called first and this one after that and so on i have used custom message handler based on one assumption that we are going to do that validation for all the requests for all the action methods available in this web api what if the api key applies only to certain controller actions in that case consider using an action filter instead of a message handler i have discussed already action filter in detail in previous questions i hope you got the answer of this question